Uh, Sophie took some notes on problems that she noticed in your quizzes. For example, if a syllable has only one, I'm sorry, if a word has only one syllable and it's stressed, for example, let's say bookcase, let's take that as two words, what do you circle? Right, B-O-O, -O, is that okay? No, because book is a one single syllable. So if a word is stressed and it has only one syllable, what do you circle? The whole word. Yeah, make sure that you circle the whole word. So book, B-O-O-K is circled and then case is not. Some of you thought urban was a noun. <clears throat> Maybe you just didn't know the word, was not a problem. And sometimes you circled both nouns and a compound. Was that in a case where it should have been a just one, one stressed part, okay. So, for example, um, if it's something like convenience store, maybe you circled convenience store, you circled both of them and you didn't put a star on it. So no matter what, every single item has to have an asterisk. Because everyone will have at least one stress. And where do you put, this, put the asterisk? On which, on which stress? Right? So it's going to have at least one stress. And if it's got only one stress, then where does the asterisk go? On that stress, because So in the system that we're using, because we're marking tonic stress, no matter what, you need at least, not at least, you need exactly one asterisk. So if there's only one syllable circled, put the asterisk to the upper right-hand corner of that. If there are two syllables circled, where does the asterisk go? On the first or second? second? The second one, the last one, obviously. So make sure that you're identifying compound nouns correctly. They have only one stress. And however many stresses an item has, put the asterisk by the final item or the only one if there's only one. Mm. Okay, I think that's about it for that. In the notes, which I haven't returned to you because I just got them, I'll give them back to you next time, which will be next Monday. Some people had trouble with the symbol for the glottal stop. This is the correct symbol for a glottal stop. Everybody pay attention because a lot of you write it in a funny way. And I notice this every year. First of all, don't do this. Xiaomian bu yao jia yi heng. The reason is because there is another symbol that looks like this. There is a symbol that looks like this. Look in the front inside cover of your textbook. Look in the front inside cover. And look at the other symbols in the middle of the page, the front inside cover. There's a quang quang, right? There's a box. Everybody find it? I know it's Monday. <laughs> I know it's Monday. All right, so the box in the middle, and it says other symbols, and look in the first column, the last two items. What do you see? It says voiced, epiglottal fricative, and epiglottal plosive. Everybody find it? And it looks sort of like it looks sort of like a glottal stop, right? But it's got this line. One of them is, the symbol is facing to the right. That's the epiglottal plosive. And the other one is the same thing, but reversed. So it looks like this. And that's the voiced epiglottal fricative. <clears throat> now, this does not look so much like this, but if you're careless, or if the person reading it is just not sure, they won't know what you mean. So please. No line at the bottom of your glottal stop. Just write it like this. And what is this symbol? Everybody? What's it called? Tap. It's called a tap. And what is a tap? 
A tap is, we don't know really the term allophone yet, at least from this class you should know it from your guy. But it's a variant of the letter T in English. So if you say take, that's a T, that's aspirated. But if it's got vowels around it, then it sounds like a very short D. So water, water, the, the water. This is a symbol for that sound. It's called a tap. In Americanist systems, some, some people call it a flap. I don't like that, but you will see it. OK, that's a tap. A lot of people confuse these two symbols. This one is a glottal stop. And the second one is a tap. They are not the same. Although both can be an allophone of T. So, for example, take, aspirated T, take, no problem. Hit. What kind of a sound do we call that? What kind of a stop is it? Hit. I didn't say hit. I said hit. What kind of a stop is that? Unreleased, right? And as Jamie said, it's confusing because the Chinese is bu chu zu. It sounds negative and it's a little confusing, but just remember it. Qi miao fang chu lai. That's called an unreleased stop. If I put a word after that starts with a consonant, it's going to change again. Instead of hit me, we often say hit me. Hit, hit, uh, 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 uh. What kind of a sound is that? Hit me. Hit, uh. What, what sound is that? It's a glottal stop. It's an opening and closing of the vocal folds. Remember, the glottis is the opening there. So a glottal stop, just a glottal stop. Who's a glottal stop? A glottal stop. Sounds it. That's a glottal stop. So hit me. My tongue is not touching my alveolar ridge. <clears throat> so hit me. Hit. Uh, 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 uh. That's called a glottal stop. OK? Is that clear? And that's different from a T between two vowels, which sounds like a very short D. Water. Water. My tongue is touching, is that right? That's the tap. So, hit me. Or, is he coming? It. Muin kai to de zi. Chi si zai nian muin zi qian. Hui yu ge glottal stop chu xian. Listen. Is he coming? Egg. Elephant. Uh, uh, uh. 其实它的起步的那个地方就是有一个呃的音, that's a glottal stop. Glottal stop is the sound you make, remember, when a basketball hits your tummy or when you imagine it, uh, that's a glottal stop. But a tap sounds like a short D. Is this all clear? Because a lot of you, yeah, Jamie. What about what? B-O-T-T. That's not a word. <laughs> O-M. Ah, for some reason, those two words get mixed up in Taiwan all the time, all the time. So, why don't we sort them out one more time? Two different pronunciations of the T. Which one is this? Is this the tap or the glottal stop? It's a tap, so listen carefully. It's not bottom, the way we say it usually. It's bottom, T. Uh, sorry, it becomes a tap. Bottom. bottom. Everyone, bottom. bottom. Okay, a lot of people, first of all, they mix up the final M and N. And second, the T, the different allophone, they don't understand. So remember, bottom, remember the M. T between two vowels, bottom, bottom. Bottom. Now here it happens to also be uh, between two vowels, but the difference is we haven't learned this rule yet. We'll learn it later. Because with M, T and M, the place of articulation, T is what kind of a sound? What's the place of articulation? Alveolar, right? And M is bilabial. Place of articulation, yang. That's why this one is a tap. How about T and N? Is the place of articulation the same or different? Both of them are what? Both are alveolar. So, in way, place of articulation, yang. That's why this one 
is not a tap. It's but, um, but, um. 前面可以有 glottal stop， 也可以有 unreleased t， but unreleased t， right? Everybody try but, but, or you can also use the glottal stop there. Both are correct. But 也可以 but 也可以后面还有一个 glottal stop. Um, um, but um, but um. All right. So 这两个对我们来说差了十万八千里 But in Taiwanese, Taiwanese English, it's the two are confused all the time. Is that right? 你们自己可能也有过听别人讲也会也会 confused. Once more, how do we say it? Bottom, bottom. So this is a. Remember, a lot of so with a short o. It's the way they teach kids in the U.S. And also England, probably. Now it's a little bit different. Anyway, this so with a short o is an a, ah, like in father. So everybody, bottom, bottom, bottom. This is a different sound. This is dot v, it's wedge. B, 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 b. Sound is different. This sound is different. The nasal sound is different. Three places are different. So native speaker will feel like these two are so confused. There are so many. But it's just like. 呃，我要你，我咬你。<笑>外国人也会 confuse 这两个东西，你是奇怪，这两个怎么可能会 confuse， right？ 我要你个，我咬你。All right， 你看以前看过那些学学华语的那个外国人演戏的时候，就把这个当做一个一个笑话用。OK， so bottom， but， um， but， um， but， um， but， um。停顿一下，后面其实两个喉声音或者一个。一个 T 一个喉声音或者两个喉声音的念法都可以 ，but 嗯或者 but 嗯，听起来都差不多。OK， bottom， but 嗯。OK， did that answer your question， Jamie？ Thank you。Anything else？ Um， a lot of you are still confused。OK， the environment in which the glottal stop occurs。What we know so far。主要是两个 environment 会什么时候会有 glottal stop? Any word that starts with a vowel, especially if it's at the beginning of a sentence or an utterance, it starts with a glottal stop. That's one way we use it. For example, like I said, is he coming? Uh, or an airplane just flew overhead. Uh, 只要是母音开头的字，然后呢，可能是那一段话的第一个字，前面那个母音的开头其实是个 glottal stop 做起步。就好像在赛跑的时候，你的手、你的脚可能会靠着一个水泥块，然后你用那个来起步。Glottal stop 有这个功能，这是第一个。啊，第二个呢，是一个音节是 t 词尾，然后呢，下一个音节是子音开头的 ，like hit me becomes hit me。OK， 这个字最后一个音是 t。下一个字或者下一个音节是子音开头的。Hit me, hit Robert, hit Mary, hit George. 只要是下面那个字是子音开头，前面那个音节的最后一个音就是 t 哦，那个会念作 glottal stop. Is that clear? Anybody have questions? This is kind of important. This is the kind of stuff we do in phonetics. And 加拿大人说。About the house, 这个叫做什么？这个现象 ，raising or rising, raising. Watch out. Raising and rising are two different words. Which one is intransitive? Which one is 不及物动词 Raise or rise? Rise. 东西升起来，那个是 rise. 我把它提高了，那是 raise. 那是他们把舌头提高了，不是他自己这样子。无意间就升起来了，不是这样子。However, the two can sometimes have the same meaning, and sometimes they're different in British and American. Because in America we talk about a pay raise, I got a raise. In Britain, it's a rise, I got a pay rise. 所以同一个东西在美国叫 raise， 在英国叫 rise。所以这个要留意。So、again, to remind you, I know it's habit, but we don't use a single e for the diphthong a e. Put a short i after it. We don't use a single o for o. Put a short u after it. Sophie also mentioned some confused ideas of differences in American and British English. There probably were a bunch of different examples. 
，你要留意每式英式不一样，你要很明确，不要随便写啊，这个是英式用法什么，然后搞不清楚是什么。If I ever mention anything, well, they do it different in Britain. Pay attention and get every sound right. Spell it correctly. Get the expression correct. 你要留意，因为差一个字，整个都不一样了。You must be very, very precise. And if you didn't hear it, what did you do? What do you do? 听不清楚干嘛？要做什么 ？Raise your hand. Yeah. If you didn't hear it clearly, just raise your hand. We'll repeat it, or ask me, or ask one of the TAs during the break,、uh, Sophie especially.、Um, but just come to me during the break, or ask during class. It'll probably help other people.、Um, a lot of you don't understand the rules for. Adding plural ending, endings in English, it's not just plurals, but it's also what? Adding a final s to a word. When we use s as a suffix, there are three different situations when we do that. What are they? First of all, I said one is plural, right? Singular or plural. So book, books, bag, bags, bush, bushes, 对不对？这是一种情况，是、so、plural. What's the other? What are the other two? I'm thinking of this concert that I went to last night. It was really high, you know. The singers were jumping around, and everyone started dancing. And then I come the Monday morning. <laughs> okay, this is nothing like the concert last night. Okay, so, 我们的规则是什么 Oh, first of all, what are the three situations when we add s to a word? Plural. Second is third person singular of verbs, right? I look, you look, he looks, right? And then the third situation is the book's cover, the bag's handle, the bush's leaves. What is it? Possessive, right? So we've got three totally different grammatical forms that use the same sound, right? So plurals. Third person singular of verbs plus possessive, 所有个 all of them add a final s phoneme. 可是那个 s 的形式是要看什么 What does it depend on? What form of the s we use depends on what? What three forms of s do we use? Forms are actually allophones. We're going to talk about allophones in chapter two, but s. 有三种不同的呈现，不同的呈现是 allophone。S 本身是 phoneme， 它是一个类型，可是它这个类型下有不同的呈现。The three forms, the three realizations of S are what? Book 的复数是什么 ？Books， and it sounds like s， and it is voiced or voiceless？ Voiceless， right？ How about bag？ Bags, and that often gets ignored in Taiwan English. All zs tend to get ignored in Taiwan English in general. It's a blanket ignoring of a sound.、Uh, but because g is voiced,、uh, how about let's say、um, row, 一一排 What's the plural? Rows, 不是玫瑰哦 Rows, 因为母音所有的母音都是 voiced， 所以加 s 那个 s 的呈现是什么？就是 z 是 voiced, right? And how about bush? 草丛，有很多科的话加什么 ？Bushes, is. 然后你们学的是 is bushes. It's not wrong. It's just not the way I usually say it. I do use is sometimes, but usually I'm going to take this off. Okay, this a lot of this is repeated, but I think there's a lot of confusion, especially people who are not my former students. So. If the final sound is voiceless, like book, we get books. If the final sound is voiced, like in bag, we get bags. If the final sound is what, we get us. Now I use us more often. I don't usually use is. It's not.、Uh, excuse me. I shouldn't use parentheses here.、Um, I'll just I'll just put it over here. This is not the one I usually use. Is. I wanted to put it in parentheses, meaning that I don't use it so much. You learned in school in your textbooks bushes, right? Kisses, etc. 是吗？你们学的是 is, is that right? Good. Thank you for your response. 
but I usually say us, and I think it's more common in American English. We also use this. This is very common in British English. Under what circumstances do we add us? We know that if it's a final voiceless sound, it's si. If it's a final voice sound, it's z. Under what circumstances do we use us? All right, we have a name for that group of sounds. How many of them are there? If it ends in what? If a word ends in, first of all, s, if it ends in s, or if it ends in the voiced version of s, which is z, or if it ends with sh, or if it ends with z, the voiced version of sh, or if it ends with an affricate, everybody remembers that's an affricate, or the voiced affricate j. Okay. If it ends with any one of these sounds, we have to put a vowel before the final us. Vowels are voiced. Shua yesiga. Yesiga vowel, yes are voiced. So voiced home and that's yabian z. The reason we do it is because it's a kind of dissimilation. It's a kind of dissimilation. If we say, for example, bus and we want two of them, we say bus. We can't hear the second s, it just sounds like you have a pronunciation problem, right? You, you stutter or something like that. Because the s sounds too much like the s, so we make it a little different so we can hear it. We make it different by putting in a vowel. Okay, and these sounds as a group are called sibilants. Sibilant, the Chongwen is Sin, Sin. 慢條詞裡的詞加個口字邊,可是大陸的翻譯有點不一樣,是一個詞稠的詞加個口字邊,可是大陸的翻譯,就我所知,可以詞音, okay, because they sound like s. These are the six sibilants. If a word ends with one of these, the final s ending becomes an extra syllable, we add a schwa. And the final sound is z because schwa is voiced, so the sound after it needs to be voiced as well. So, this is something you should have learned on your own, but it seems like there was plenty of confusion, so I'm going over it in class just so maybe it will be easier to retain. Any questions about this? We will be tested on this. But the important thing is you need this to speak English correctly because if you don't know the rule, you will say things like there are lots of bush, lots of bush. And it sounds really funny. We'll just we'll learn each other some things. Oh, bushes. It's not right. Okay. All clear. All right. And then we mentioned palatal alveolar, alveolar palatal. It's kind of confusing to learn both of them at the same time. Remember that p kaito the nega is the English word the nega. Palatal, palatal alveolar or palato alveolar, palato alveolar. That is sh and j, and also ch and j. Those are affricates, so we don't usually have to worry about classifying them. Sh and z are palato alveolar. And someone pointed out that the Chinese should be e in. I said in e because it sounded better to my ears. But we do need to distinguish the two in Chinese. So palato is e or palato is e. Alveolar is in. So e in in e in in is the Chinese. Alveolar palatal, remember, a kaito the sujongwenda chi And then we will use the in e for that word. Okay? Palato alveolar. E in alveolar palatal chi chi in e. Okay. And Sophie made a really good observation, something that Taiwanese wouldn't normally notice, but I'm glad you did. Don't do that. Stop from today. Okay? They do this in Germany. I picked it up when I was in Germany. But if you do anything to an IPA symbol, it may change the value. Everyone clear? All right. A trill is not a trial, but it's a pan. And a trill is not a thrill. Oh, how you're quite guy. T R I L L, trill, trill. And I 
check this again. I had checked it many times before. But I say Chinese because that's the dictionary word, but that's mainly a mainland Chinese pronunciation that I've kept. 在中文在台湾的词典里面是念战没有错，战战斗着，战斗着。But 战是右音，它另外一个读法。因为我查的很多书是那个大陆的，所以我就是一直开始，我一直习惯用战音。But in theory, I suppose 战音 is okay in Taiwan. 大陆会偏向用战音。Okay, that's all the notes. Thank you very much to Sophie for all of your careful checking. Do we have any questions before we continue? Anything from your work? Okay, please hand in your notes from last week. We'll pick up your notes now. Okay, you have an assignment to practice Han Yu Pinyin. We plan to finish the chapter today, and I don't see why we shouldn't.、Uh, it's, there's not that much left. We just have to get to work.、Um, I will show you the page quickly. It's the first sentence of the parrot story. Everybody, pay attention. This is an assignment. The first sentence of the parrot story. I would like you to write it out in Han Yu Pinyin. Please be very careful because there is a 现象 of 所谓的台湾 sloppy. 你写完了就不太注意，不太不太留意，也不会回想说，呃、uh, ，tutorial 里面叫你注意哪些东西 Just please be very very careful. Um, for Han Yu Pinyin, there are a couple things I want you to watch out for. The tone mark goes over which vowel. You need to pay attention to this because in Chinese we have a lot of diphthongs. Is that right? What are the diphthongs in Mandarin? That's that's how you say diphthong. I said, what are the diphthongs in Mandarin? Just go through Zhuyin Fu Hao and you'll find them very quickly. I, A. Ow, o. All right, those are the ones to remember because they will help you place the tone mark. 那个调符啊，要放在哪个母音上 ？I A L O 有两个母音的符号，对不对 ？So where do you put the tone mark? For that group, I A L O 你就记得就是放在第一个。So for I, it goes over the A. A, it goes over the E. Ao goes over the A, O goes over the U, or over the O. Sorry, not the U. So I A Ao, you just remember the four. You always put the tone mark in the same place. Other, like U, a U. Well, that's that's not even a good pronunciation. Like Liu, Liu. That is also a sound, a sound pronunciation. Liu. So how do you spell it, and where do you put the tone mark? Liu. How do you spell it? L. I, U, L I U, all right. In in Zhuyin Fu Hao, it's basically L E O, 对不对？可是汉语拼音不是 L I O U， 那个 O 不要了。And the second part of the question is, <coughs> where does the tone mark go? Go over the I or over the U? Over the U. We call that the main vowel. 那是主要元音，主要母音。When you start using Chinese linguistics terminology, they say yuan yin and fu yin. Yuan yin, yuan dan's yuan is a vowel, fu yin is a consonant. So always put the tone mark over the main vowel. 主要元音要放调符 And if it is not i a l o, 不是其中之一的话，那应该是在右边的那个，不是第一个，是第二个 Chinese has something else, and that is san mu yin. Can you give an example of a san mu yin in Mandarin? Chinese has, for example, bao, ah, fo, fei, and etc. Where, what kind of a? Can you give me an example of a san mu yin? Hmm. Xiang. Xiang, is it? 是一啊一啊 ，I count only two. 后面嗯不是个母音。There we go. Biao. Somebody must remember that from my class, because that's my example. I always give that example. Biao, 对不对 ？Biao 准的标，一啊五，三母音。同一个音节里面三个母音，那是中文的三母音。Those are easy. 因为它其实有两个
很简单的方法可以用来记，后面是 o 对不对？那 o 母音一定是在 r 还是 o？ r right。And then the other way to remember it, 三母音你就选当中那个就对了。看到三母音就是当中那个就对了。Okay, so that's about tone marks. There are a couple other tricks, like we just noticed with Leo, Eo. 那其实这个三母音，那个 U 就是要当，呃，反正要画画调符。那个其实本身就是一个双母音。All right. Now, how do you say 为什么 How do you spell 为什么的为为什么的为 ？How do you spell it? W, E, I. Good. Okay. 调符。I A L O I A. It goes here, right? Now, how do you spell 鬼？这边 A 是一样的，对不对？然后这边也有 U 的音。U 的音如果是第一个音的时候，你记得要写 W， 不是一个 U， 是一个 W。How about 小鬼的鬼 ？How do we spell it? And don't say G. It's G. G. Right. Okay. G. W or U? U. Because it's not the first letter of the alphabet, so it's U. Then? Very good. It's not E. It's very easy. 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 And you also have to watch out for Y as well. For example, B, B 破的 B 是这样子，可是 E 二三的 E 怎么写 ？Y I 记得它，如果只有一个 E 的音的时候，第一个字母就是 Y. So this is a little confusing. How about 乌来的乌 ？W U， 这是中文有点不对称的地方。因为乌来的乌，前面你有没有感觉有 W 的？有没有 W 的音？乌乌是乌还是乌 ？All right, the first one or the second one? 乌还是乌？第一个、第二个？乌还是乌 ？A or B? One or two? You like 乌来？乌来还是乌来？第一个、第二个？哎，你们又变了。为什么不一样啊？我刚说乌还是乌，你说乌比较好。可是我说乌来还是乌来，你说乌来比较好，这是道理。Can anybody explain this? Can anybody explain it? Please think about it. I'll talk to you during break because you guys are kind of not quite awake to the new week yet. So, well, if you, please think about it and tell me what you think. 我刚说乌还是乌好，你说乌比较好。可是我说乌来好还是乌来好？你说乌来比较好，是不是 ？Please think about that. But one thing I can tell you is that this W sound is very unstable. It's very unstable in Taiwan Mandarin. I can't speak for China because I haven't listened to enough mainland Chinese. I think it's more stable in Beijing Mandarin. But for Taiwan Mandarin, 乌还是乌，这是相当不稳定。那另外一个不对称的是一，一二三 ，almost nobody says 一二三，对不对 ？Do you say 一一个人有吗？少数的人会讲，像高天恩老师有，可是多数的人不会说一个人 ，it's 一个人。前面是什么音？一之前还有一个音 ，what is it？ Glottal stop, right? So just like in English. Before a vowel in Chinese, you usually get a glottal stop. 一个人一一一呃一，不是一个人。一个人一个人 ，you hear the difference? Right. Taiwan 都是一个人比较多 ，okay? So 这两个有点不对称。W 比较会出现乌来，你们觉得可以，可是一个人你觉得怪怪的。Y 跟 W 其实是很类似的音，可是在中文的表现。很不一样，不对称。I'm just telling you， 你们要留意这个东西。可是写的时候怎么样，还是要写那个 y， 也要写那个 w。All right， another problem with 汉语拼音 is， do we use an umlaut in 汉语拼音？ u 上面的两点，因为中文有 u 这个音 ，is that right？ Right， 
So in Wei Giles, 就是微陀马是以前的，我们现在没有花很多时间在上面，因为很多人不用。如果是多余的余，它可能会这样子写。How about in Pinyin? 拼音需要那两点吗 ？Never. When? When do we use the umlaut in Hanyu pinyin? Louder, please. Yeah. N. Very good. The only time we need the u umlaut in Hanyu pinyin is is after n or l. Because is this a word in Chinese? What is it? Nu li de nu, right? And how about this? Lu rou fan de lu, right? Or it could be a lot of other things. So if you want to say girl, then you have to what? Nu hai zi, yin wei nu gen nu. N 后面可以有 u， 可以有 u。How about l？ 卤肉饭的卤。How about 驴子 ？Right? Donkey. We need to show that it's u and not u. For the other words, why do we not need to add the umlaut？ 其他的为什么不用加那两点 ？For example, what is this word？ Oops. Sorry, main vowel. What is this word? 需要 right. X 后面的那个 u 要不要加两点 Why not? Because after she, can we have an u sound? Shu. Try to say she 加 u. Is that Chinese? No, it's impossible. The only two sounds where we can have either u or u are n and l. 其他的只要看到 u， 它要不然是这是什么字？书，读书的书。然后呢，这个有 x 的话，需要的需，因为机器系后面它只能接两种母音。What are they? 机器系后面只能接两种母音 ，which are they? E and u. 机器系后面只能接这两个 ，and there's a reason for it. 是因为 they're palatal. Palatal 的话，它后面接的也是个 palatal 的母音，这是有历史原因的，而且是有 articulatory phonetic 的原因的。Did everybody understand that? You're not writing this down. This is important stuff. 真的很重要，因为中文的那个整个系统有点互补。吃吃吃，后面可不可以放 u？ 可不可以放 e？ Try to say 吃 plus e。嗯哼，吃 plus u。Does it work？ 可以吗 ？No。So if we have an e or u， we don't use 吃吃吃， we use 机器西。Now， phonologists will discuss 是哪两个会构成一个对称的，嗯，不不不完全对对称，可是哪两个会变成是？呃，互补的两组到底是，支持是应该支持是日应该搭配机器西，还是支持是应该搭配机器西？是哪两个关系比较近？你说 ？You can argue about it all you want. People have written papers and papers and papers about this. 我觉得是，蛮无聊那个题目，不要一直讲，对不对？因为机器西后面是只能放一根鱼，支持是。不能放一跟 u， 所以那两个搭配起来是，你可以说是一对。可是支持词后面可不可以放？可不可以放一或 u？ 词后面可不可以加 u？ 需要，那好像是东南亚来的啊！我需要，嗯哼。So 那个也是，那两组也可以放在一起。那到底应该是哪一个搭配机器系 ？Never mind. OK， 不用不用讲这个这个。这个没有太大的意义了。Some people really love talking about that stuff, but I don't. But the point is, you have to remember, 机器系后面你要写 u 的话，写个 u 的话，它绝对是 u 的意思，一一定是那个音。All right.
That's what I have to say about how you pee in. You have an assignment. In addition, um, I guess I forgot to mention it. Also read Romanization page 3. 就是罗马 拼音, 第三. All right. Next, get your exercises. Oh, no, no, not that. We're going to read. We're going to finish chapter 1. Then we'll do the exercises. Okay. Let's go. Whose turn? I'm Claire. The tongue is fairly close to the roof of the mouth for the vowel in heat. You can feel that this is so by breathing inward while holding the target position for this vowel. Okay, just a minute. First of all, tongue. 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 Yeah, everyone, tongue. 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 Practice that one because some of you are still saying funny things for this word like tongue or something. Tongue. Tongue, tongue, the tongue. Open your mouth wider. Tongue, tongue, tongue. 舌根音或舌后音. It's velar. Okay. I'd like you to try it again. Let's try to get really precise. Tongue. Mm -hmm. The whole, the whole sentence. The whole. Yeah. 继续，就是你原来念的重念一次。Oh, the tongue, the tongue is fairly close to the roof of the mouth. Okay, tongue is fairly your R. Watch the R. And to the, to the, to the, to the toe. So one more time. The tongue, the tongue is fairly, Fair, fairly yes. close to the roof, to the, uh -huh. to the mm -hmm. roof of the mouth, for the vowel in heat. Heat. Uh -huh. Heat. Mm -hmm. You can feel that this is so by breathing. So by is not a good, one a verb, right? So by in the verb before you do what? What do you do before a preposition? Pause. 对，因为你刚刚断句，让我觉得你没有听懂这句话，所以你断句要注意。You can feel that this is so. 你可以感觉到，确实是这个样子。That's what it means. 因为刚刚念的，好像你没有听懂。So you can feel that this is so. 你可以感觉得到，确实是这个样子哦。透过什么呢 ？So try it again. You can feel. You can feel that this is so by breathing inward while holding the target position for this vowel. Okay, holding. Watch the L. Holding. The lots of English speakers no longer pronounce that L, especially in Britain. Holding. 英式现在变得很常听到，然后呢 ，position 那个 s 到底是 voiced 还是 voiceless？ Everybody, please mark this, because many of you say position, position. We understand it. 可是好会愣一下。Get it right. We're here to get it right. All right. So I'm here to be picky. You're here to be picky. So we're going to be picky. Position. It's not position. Pos, pos, pos. You're going to have to start learning. 要开始特别留意，然后背哪一些字那个 s 念 z， 像 rose r o s e， 它没有留，一定要念 z。可是它就是在念 z。如果不是一个词尾的话，你就是要背，没有别的办法，你就是要背，要留意。This is position. Okay, go ahead. Target position position mm -hmm. for the vowel, slightly less close for the vowel in heat. In hid, in hid, good. Yeah. For this and most not this, this, this. Yeah. And most other vowels. Who's the most? That's in shi. Most. Most. Mo, mo, mo. Yeah. Most. Yeah. Most, most. Mm -hmm. Other vowels. It is difficult to localize the position. Position. No, the first pos. What's the pos? Position. Position. Okay, good. Position. They're perfect, good. By breathing inward, the articulators are too far apart. The articulators. The, the articulators. Say are the. The. No, that's an L. We don't want L. We want the. 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 That's it, yeah. The articulator. articulators are too far are apart. Are too far. Are too far apart. Okay, I'm picking on your R's. Now, Many English speakers do not have R's after their vowels, but we're not learning British English or Australian English or South African English. We're learning American English. So I want you to get in the habit of putting your R's in. You can take them out again in the future if you want to change to British English. But I want you to learn one accent consistently. 你就把一种英文学得很
一致，不要说一点英式、一点美式、一点什么式。OK， 我们现在就全部美式。Nobody in the class has insisted on speaking British. If you did, I would encourage you to keep speaking British. But right now, as far as I can tell, everybody is using American. So let's be consistent. After the vowel, you see an R. Pronounce an R, and it has to be pretty strong to hear it. So R. Go ahead. And lower still for the vowels. And lower still. And lower still、mm -hmm. for the vowels. For in, for、uh -huh. the vowels in had and had. Okay, head. Head. Good. All right. And the way that I learn, remember I told you in freshman English, 发现的那个方法，哎，怎么样？不要念到 h 去，下颌不要动。Okay, everybody. Head, had, head. 下颌几乎都不要动 You get it perfect, absolutely perfect. All right.、Um, I know the bell has rung, but let's finish this paragraph so we can get a start on the on finishing the chapter. First of all, we started talking last time. Just started talking about front vowels. What are the front vowels? Among our list here, we have seven vocabulary items, single syllable words. So, which ones contain a front vowel? Heed, hid, head, had. That's the end. There are actually more front vowels if you include diphthongs, but for now it's just these four. These are the front vowels because if you look at that figure at the top of page 21, you see that. Why do we call them front? What is the tongue doing? Part of the tongue is arched. It's domed. 舌头有个地方是有点翘起来。它这种鼓起来，它比较它鼓起来的地方比较靠近前面的那些母音叫做前母音，叫做 front vowels. So e, i, e, a are the front vowels. 舌头翘起来的地方很靠近你的那个呃那个前面嘴巴的前面 Okay, so um those are the front vowels. Now it says that for e, the tongue is quite close to the roof of, roof of the mouth. 舌头很靠近上颚，念一的时候 ，and it says, how can we feel it? Again, you can suck in, suck air in, and you will feel cool air along your tongue where it's very close to to the hard palate. Okay, so everybody say e. All right, now don't move your tongue and suck air in. E. 有没有觉得舌头当中凉凉的？有没有？ You could do it for i to also feel the position that's closest to the hard palate, but it doesn't work so well with i because. So try with i. Hid i. Everyone i. All right, second i. Everything gets cool then. Why is that? Because these two surfaces are too close. 就变得说一种广泛的凉，不是说两个最靠近的地方会凉，是因为离的距离已经太远了，所以你吸空气的时候，整个舌头都凉凉的。So that that method only works really well if your tongue is very close to something else. 舌头很靠近另外一个地方的时候，你可以用这个吸入空气来大概知道两个最靠近的部分是在哪里。Everyone understand? 可以吗 ？So for u. You can probably do it for u, because u is very high. 可是舌头离另外一个 surface 太远的时候，就这个方法没什么用。So the tongue is fairly close to the roof of mouth. The mouth you can feel e. You can feel it when you suck in air. Then your tongue goes down a little bit to make e. So let's compare the two. Everybody say e, and then say e. Say them. Go back and forth between e and e. Go. E e e e. What's your tongue doing for e? Any? It's moving downward, right? 舌头有点降低一点，来念 e. E is a high vowel. E is a bit lower. And then if we go to e, e. So compare e to e and then e. All three. E e e. What did your tongue do? Even lower, and then go to a. E e a a. That's the lowest vowel we have among the front vowels. So that's what he's saying. Front vowels according to height. E e a a. E is the highest. A is the lowest. 
The other two are in between. Okay, go ahead. If you look in a mirror while saying the vowels in these four words, four four mm -hmm. words, you will s four words four four words 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 again. These these four words start high. 因为我们那个句末不是下降吗 ？These four words. Try it. These four words. Good, but are we finished? No. So after we go down, words, words, words. There we go. Now words 后面记的是字典的字 ，not words, words, words. 后面放个字典的字。Okay, again. These four words. 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 There you go. You will find that the mouth becomes progressive. Becomes your M. Becomes. Everybody, what mark that M and becomes, not becomes, becomes. Becomes good. Pro progressively more open, while the tongue remains. While the, the while the, the, the tongue tongue remains in the remains remains. Everyone say that word. Remains. remains. Yeah, don't say remains. Okay, remains. remains. Good. In the front of the mouth. Say remains again. Remains. That's good. Yeah. Remains in the front of the mouth. Okay, we've already done that. If you have a mirror, 女生都有，有些男生也有，我知道。因为经根据往年的经验，有些男生就马上就拿出来。Okay, so if you have a mirror, if you have a mirror, just take it out. 刚好有镜子，就拿出来。Go ahead, ladies. Guys, if you have one, you can too. Don't be embarrassed. And ladies, you can share it with a guy if you're sitting next to a guy. Okay, get your mirror out. A mirror is a handy thing to have for phonetics. So, guys, if you are shy about bringing a mirror, say it's for my phonetics class. So don't make fun of me. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, you have an excuse now to bring a mirror. So, say e i a a slowly. Watch your mouth slowly opening wider. Watch it in your mirror. Go e. E. Can you see it? Go backwards. A. E. See your mouth opening and closing. All right. Mirrors are useful, so it's good to have one with you for this class.、Uh, if you really want one, I have lots of old ones from from old makeup and things. So if you want a mirror, just ask me. I'll bring one to class.、Um, okay. Go ahead. The vowel in heat. Is classified as a high front vowel. Good. As is okay, but get in the habit of saying as, as. In Taiwan, they always teach as, but in fact, we often need the full vowel as. Everyone classified as a. Yeah. Don't always say as. I talked to another American friend teaching English, and she got really irritated by it because everybody says as. All right. Classified as a. Classified as. A high front vowel. All right, that's something you have to memorize. E is a high front vowel. Memorize that e. You don't really have to slay because all you have to do is remember this progression in your mouth. Test it out yourself. Feel it. Look in the mirror. All right, high front vowel. Go ahead. And the vowel in had ha, had had、mm -hmm. as a low front vowel. All right, low front vowel. So now we know that a is a. Low front vowel e. There are the two extremes. E is a high front vowel. Low is a, a, a is a low front vowel. 考试一定会考 ，so make sure you know these. And then the height of the 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 the, the height of the tongue for the vowels in the other words is between these two extremes. Extremes. Extremes.、Mm -hmm. And they are therefore called mid, called called mid front vowels. Mid. Mid, not mid. Meet. Mid, mid. No, 不是 e 是 i. Right. Now, 后面不是 t 是 d. Mid, mid, mid. Mid. There we go. Mid, 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 mid. Front vowels. That's better. The vowel in hit. In, 不是 in, in, in. Yeah. The vowel in hit. Good. Oh, that was really good. Is a mid, 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 mid. mid. Mid, mid, yeah. Mid high vowel. Mid high vowel. Mid high vowel, and the vowel in head. In, 不是 in, in, in head, in, 
in, in, in, in. Yes. And the vowel in. Uh, see, habit. 你念的时候，在句子里面都会恢复原状。That's just habit. So in. Vowel in. Vowel in. In. <laughs> See, that's how powerful habit is. Power a habit is so so powerful. You have to really stop and think for a while. It'll be days or months, but you have to do it for a while, and then it will be automatic. So, the vowel in hid. The vowel in. In. You 还是很容易 in. 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 No. In. In. Yeah. The vowel in. In. Mm -mm. In. In. I. I. In. 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 Yeah, that's good. The vowel in. In. Z. It's so hard to change. Yeah, this becomes completely automatic. You now need to make another thing into an automatic thing. The vowel in head. The vowel in head. Hid. Hid. The vowel in head. The vowel in head. Hid. Hid. Not head. Hid. Hid. Oh, we are now head. Ma. Head. We are now still head, isn't it? Oh, oh, head. We are now head. Okay, good. The vowel in head. Good. Okay. Is a mid low vowel. Is a. Is a mid. Hmm. Mid. 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 Yeah. Mid low vowel. All right. Okay. I know you're reading and you're busy, but try to remember what we went over and put it in your notes, because these are very common words. They're tiny words, and you think they don't really matter, but they do. The tiny words also need to be pronounced correctly. We don't say li or la. We say the. We don't say fo. We say for. We don't say in, we say in. Yeah, we don't say in. It's not the e. The back is not the sh and in. So in. Yeah. Okay. And head. Don't say head. Remember, don't move your jaw. Head. Okay. So let's just sort this out, and then you'll take a quick break. Now we already know that e is a high front vowel. A is a. We've got two in the middle. So how do we classify them? I is a mid high front vowel. Mid high, 半高的，另外一个是半低的。So I I is a mid high front vowel. Once more, I is a. Okay, you're getting, you're starting to wake up. That's good. One more time, louder, so I know you're awake. I is a. Very good. You want your break, don't you? And then e is a mid low front. Okay, you won your break. Take a break. During the break, we had two questions. One was from Julia. One from Stanley. The difference between these two. Does everybody know the difference clearly? Because I know from my students' pronunciation, a lot of you have trouble distinguishing these two. What is the difference between these two? We now have terms to classify them. So this one is called a manner of articulation. Is what is the manner of articulation of this symbol? N not place, manner. Place and manner. You guys need that for the test. Place of articulation is, for example, bilabial, alveolar, velar, etc. That's place of articulation. If I say manner of articulation, it's going to be either what. Stop. Fricative. Approximate. And affricate. 对 ，affricate 是一个复合的，是一个 stop 加上 fricative. So sometimes we don't even bother mentioning affricate, but it's a useful term. So what is the manner of articulation of this sound? This is a fricative. And then how about this one? What's the manner of articulation? It's an affricate. Now. Knowing the theory should help you be able to figure out the actual pronunciation. With a fricative, a fricative can be classified as a. Do you remember? We have a two-yuan fricative. The opposite of stop is continuant, right? Continuants include what? Vowels. All vowels are continuants. What else? Continuant, 延续音，包括母音、元音。Put this in your notes. This will also be in in some test. Stop is 一种类型，跟它不一样的有对应关系的是 continuant， 延续音
是一成不变，一直持续着。Okay, I'm giving you another reading assignment. Write it down. The question was the difference between these two. This is a again place of artic uh, manner of articulation. Fricative. This and don't say fricative. It's fricative. Fricative. And this is an affricate. All right. What's the difference? An affricate is se cha yin, 一个 se yin 加一个 cha yin. Now, in practical terms, this is a continuant. Is this a continuant? No, zhe is not a continuant. Part of it is a continuant, but when you put the two together, 它的性质可能比较接近色音。它的性质是比较接近色音。So for zhe, because it's a continuant, we can pronounce it and just keep on going till we run out of breath, and nothing really changes. 它一直都很一致的一个声音。So and it's very easy if you have trouble with it. You keep saying "j" by accident or by habit. The easy way to do it is just say "sh." Everybody can say "sh." No one has trouble with that. So say "sh." Now add voicing. "Sh." There it is. There's "j." So just take a "sh" and add voicing, and that's a "j." There's no "d" sound at all. It's not "j." So we say usually. We don't say usually. Some people say usually. It's incorrect. It's usually, usually. It's a continuant. 它没有性质不一样的音都在一起，全部从头到尾是一成不变。另外一个是前面是舌音，后面接一个茶音。So we have a 很唐突的一个 stop, but it happens fast. So sometimes it's hard to catch. But it's d 加 z 真的是这两个音放在一起的。You can use a waveform and try it yourself. You will see a d followed by a z, though it's very fast. So it's z, and it's just like 这是什么的 z， 中文的这是什么的 z。z， everybody say 这是什么的 z. Go z. That's z. Okay. 英文的 z 就是那个样子。Especially in Taiwan Mandarin, 因为你们不是这是什么，对不对？没有这么念，所以那个台湾的“这”是什么的“这”？很像英文的“这”。So， 色差音有个的，有个 stop， 然后后面才有 fricative， 然后它比较容易断掉。这 ，like judge，judge，it's done， 比较像 stop 的性质，虽然它也有 fricative 的部分。那日呢，就不是。For example，genre，genre or beige， 米黄色。Beige. You can do it as long as you have breath. Okay, Julia, did that answer the question? Kaima, the other question. Um, Stanley brought up a really good point, and I didn't mention one of the possibilities, and I think that was Stanley's point, and I didn't think of it when you were asking. So see if this makes sense to you. E and Wu in Mandarin, I said 不对称，因为你们有一二三的 e。有两种可能的发音，一个是我刚刚说的一个喉塞音，一一个人呃，还可以接受这发音吗？一个人可以吗？呃 ，Is it okay？ 一个人 ，Yeah。You can also 把喉塞音去掉，让它变成一个很平顺的一，一个人，不是一个人变一个人。You think they're the same？ 因为其实有没有喉塞音都一样。这个叫零声母，中文叫做零声母 ，It's a zero initial。表示说前面也不是一个一，也不是一个喉舌音，它就是母音纯很纯粹的一个母音，就是一个 null sign， 数学里面用的 empty set 的那个那个符号。语言学里面，声韵学里面那个叫零声母，就是零，一零零的那个零，声声音的声，母母亲的母，零声母。所以一一可以，可是一。一个人怪怪的，这个在台湾已经不通行了。打个星号，星号是说不太用。本来是不可以的意思，可是我打星号，意思说在台湾不太不大会这么讲。乌就不一样了。那我想 Stanley 要跟我讲的，你是零声母乌来乌，没有 W， 你就是一个没有喉声音也没有 W 一个零声母。That's what you're trying to say, right? Okay, I will accept that, and I think that's probably the best way to do it. That's the way Chinese linguists analyze it. 我比较会放 W， 搞不好是英文的关系。还有王，王那个绝对是个 W。可是因为 U 跟 W 发音的位置是一样的 
，所以你很就很容易就变成一个零声母的乌乌来 ，right？ OK， 乌来可以吗 ？Some people say 乌来，那变成一个喉舌音，然后 W 乌来 ，is that okay too？ I want all of you to try these. 这六个就是各自，每个人试试看。And I want you to tell me which ones you like best. 赶快试。No, go ahead. 我们从乌开始好了，因为这个比较有争议。OK， 争议不是争议。嗯，乌是完全什么都没有，零声母。乌是有喉舌音。乌是有个 W。Let's give them letters. This is A. This is B. This is C. For W or for Wu, try all of them. Do you understand the difference? Can you produce each one? Wu, 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 Wu. The three. 当然都有 exaggerated. <coughs> Which ones do you like the best? Which one? A, A, B, or C for W? You like A, 零声母 Okay, that's a good analysis. How about U, U 来 Acceptable? 听过吗？没有听过吗 ？I hear it all the time. 因为我就住在乌来附近，<笑>所以我一天到晚听到乌来，尤其是小朋友，那个乌会念有喉舌音。还有 service. How do you say that? Service. In Chinese. Not. 中间的音是这个，这个还是这个？服务还是服务还是服务？到底哪一个 ？A B or C? A lot of you say B. I know. My daughter says B. Okay. She grew up. She was born in Taiwan. She will say 服务，服务课程。I bet a lot of you say 服务。Is that right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. How about 服务？什么都没有，就是母音变长。服务<咳> ，Do you like it or not? Not sure. <咳> okay, excuse me. Okay, 服务，什么都没有，就是母音变成说是延长。服务，声音也会，声调也会变。然后第三个是服务 ，W， 服务。Okay, listen to the three again. Write these down if, in some way that you can remember it, because I want you. This is 又是一个功课。这六个，我要你开始观察你周围环境，你自己怎么，你选择什么样的音，还有你周围环境，你听到的人他们是怎么说的。Because you think everybody does it this way, but then you find out people are doing it differently than you expect. 尤其是年轻人，变化真的蛮大。And you've also noted. Other changes, I'm sure. Like, oh, 外面好热，是不是？外面好热，你们不觉得奇怪？是你自己已经被感染了。OK， 好热，很多人都念好热。啊，我要吃肉，吃肉。Right， 已经开始变了。我看那个日在台湾可能就会变成了，很可能已经开始了。But now， 这六个，我要你开始观察。这六个写下来 ，Everybody write it down. And I want you to listen to what you do yourself. Because sometimes what you think you do and what you really do are different. Like with me, what I say I do, 然后我有听到说，哎，我好像跟学生讲，我不这么讲，哎。Because 你不经过大脑的时候，你就会冒出你平常用的。你经过分析，你可能会说，哎，不是这个音，我平常会这么讲。A lot of Americans will say they never use contractions. Like I don't use contractions. They say I don't use contractions. 你听得懂吗？对。Do not. 他说我不会用 don't 那种词 I don't use contractions. So when you're thinking, you often don't really know what you do when you're not thinking. <coughs> so, 服务服务服务这三个写下来。我要你观察，你听到的是什么 ？In theory, I think Stanley's answer is probably the best. 零声母可能是最好的。可是我觉得另外两个也会听到。Yeah. W 跟什么？对 ，A 跟 C 是真的很近。我真的 ，I can only exaggerate them. Okay, the first one is 服务。我没有加 w 很重的那个原存，然后蛮用力的一个一个 approximate. So 服务
服务，从头到尾是一个母音没有被中断。第二个服务没有问题，那服务是不是嘴唇变得比较紧？服务 ，OK， got it， all clear。这六个选择，我要那边写下来。开始观察 ，I will ask you in a future class. So this is really an interesting question. Linguists have not figured it out yet. 我已经听过很多研究声韵学、研究那个语音学的人，他们他们在问我的意见，我也问他们的意见，因为每个人的分析不太一样。So I want you to、uh, look into this. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Okay, those were the questions that came up during break. Anything else before we move on? We really need to continue. Next reader, please. Uh, my name is Amanda. Now try saying the vowel in father. Try saying the what? Vowel. Vowel. Yeah, I, I think you missed something. One more time. Vowels. Z. That's an that's a Z, not an S, because L is voiced, right? L is 有声 So everybody, 复数 a vowel is vowel z z. Go ahead. Uh, uh, in father, good food. Mm -hmm. Figure one. Figure, not fi. 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 Figure. Fi figure, one point twelve also shows the the uh the articulatory targets for these vowels. For need the R E L Zui. For yeah, these. articulatory targets for these vowels. Okay, look at the back vowels on page twenty one at the top. Five, six, and seven.、Um, these are the targets. This is our goal, but we don't always exactly reach them. Go ahead. In all three. In, not in, 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 in all three.、Mm -hmm. The tongue. In all three. In all three, the tongue is close to the. Once more, shut up. Tongue. The tongue is close to the back surface of. Of the vocal tract. Okay, I'm being really picky, but、um, I think it should help you improve. Close, because S is a vowel sound, so the vowel sound should not be too close. It won't be long. The door closed the vowel sound because it's voiced behind. But the vowel sound close, the vowel sound is not long. Everybody close. 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 All right, and then surface. F 是五声 ，R 要念 surface. surface. Okay. The tongue is close to the back surface of the vocal tract. Good. These vowels are classified as back vowels. Back vowels. Back vowels.、Mm. We don't need to stress vowels because 已经讲过 vowel， 它 old information，、mm. and 然后有对比关系跟 front vowels 有对比关系 ，and classified, classified, classified. Okay. How? So these vowels are back vowels. Which three vowels are they? Ah.、Uh, what else? U、uh, and U. Ah.、Uh, U.、Uh, U.、Uh. Actually, there's some we haven't mentioned, but we're just going to talk about these three for now. The body of the tongue is highest in the vowel in food, which is in food. This is your sheng. In food,、mm -hmm. which is therefore called. A high back vowel. Okay, everybody, write down the word "called" in your notes. Just write down the word "c a l l e d." Write it down. All right, and then follow my instructions. Everybody, look at me. Do this. Just, just open your mouth and say "ah."、Uh. Uh. All right, now say "call,", call. Called. called, called, calling, calling. calls, calls. calls. Call. call, call, called. Don't say cold. Don't say cold. It's called, 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 called. Okay, how? <coughs> Which is therefore called a high back vowel. All right. So u. Everybody say the u. Feel what your tongue is doing. U high back vowel, and then. And though it's in the first vowel in father. Which is father. Father. Yeah, 比较长啊，很长 Father.、Mm -hmm. Which is therefore. Called, called, called. No, look at called, called. That's good. Called. Yeah. A low back vowel. Okay, so U is a. Go. E U is a high back vowel. Again, U is a. Ah is a. Okay. 
The vowel in good is. Say vowel again. Vowel. Watch the L. Vowel. 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 Okay. The vowel in <coughs> good is a mid high back vowel. All right. Mid high back vowel. It's just like what? It is a what? It is a what? Mid high front vowel. It is a mid high front vowel. U is a mid high back vowel. Let's review those again. All right, I'm going to tell you the vowel. I make the sound and then you tell me what it is, the position in the vocal tract. All right, E. Good. U. U. Mid high back vowel. We just learned that, so that's the least familiar. A. Low front vowel, okay? I. Ah. L low back vowel. E. Not mid, mid, mid. Yeah? Mid, low, front, oo. Ah. Low, front, vowel. Okay, make it nice and clear and loud. Low, front, vowel. That was good, all right. Uh. Eh. Mid low front vowel. Mid low front vowel. Good. Eh. Ah. Uh. Ah. All right, one other thing I want to mention is you learn about long and short vowels, and we've also learned that the way to really distinguish between long and short vowels is it by their actual lengths. So we learned in a previous class how to distinguish between a short and a long vowel, right? Is it by their actual length? No, not in American English. So what do we, what do we use to distinguish between short and long vowels? If it can occur in an open syllable, then it is not short, right? Short vowels cannot occur in an open syllable. That was our definition. That's a phonological definition. It's not phonetic. Phonological The shortest vowels in American English, write this down, this will be useful. There are short, four very short vowels in American English. Can you tell me what they are? The shortest one is uh, schwa. That's short in both varieties, uh, because it's not stressed, and it's, because it's not stressed, it's short, uh. But how about the full vowels? Which three are really short in American English? I. E. A. I. Short E. I. E. Dao san. And A. Dao V. In the American language, these three are very short. Now, what are the most So when you read father, even if or if you read ah, even if the next sound is not voiced, for example, mm, I'm trying to think of one, spot, spot, S-P-O-T, T is a spot, that is long, because ah is a very long sound. We talk about the phonological sound, it's not a matter of the sound, and a is very long. A is also is also long. A is the longest. A is also long. But it is very short. 
Write that down. You're going to need that. 然后你调整你自己的美式发音的话，你必须要留意这些天生比较长、比较短的母音的问题。All right, so、um, let's just review very quickly. I know we're using all our time. We're not going to finish, but I think it's better to be clear than to be fast. So、um, mm, tell me again if it's a what what part of the vocal tract it is in, what kind of a vowel it is. Uh, mid high back vowel. Eh, mid low front vowel again. Ooh. A, uh huh, ah, i, e. Okay, I think you've got it now. But don't say high front vowel. It's high front vowel. Stop. High front vowel. Everyone. Beautiful. Okay, continue. The Tom may not the 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 the.、Mm -hmm. The tongue may be near enough to the roof of a mouth for you to be able to feel feel the rush of the cold air. No, the uh of uh not of of. Everybody, write that one next to that other word I kept. I reminded you to write down, which was what. Right, called an of. The 两个字 called of 不念 of 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 of. Okay. The rush of cold air. Cold air. Cold air.、Mm -hmm. When you breath, breath inward. Breathe. This breathe. Breathe.、Uh, uh -huh. Breathe inward while holding the position for the vowel in food. Okay. Very nice. I know I picked on you a lot, but it was to help you. You did very well. 呼吸这个动词 everybody breathe. Breathe. 你的呼吸这个名词是 breath. 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 A breath of fresh air. Say it. Breathe easy. Breathe easy. Easy 是形容词，可是 breathe easy 是你现在可以放松的意思。Breathe 是动词 ，breath 是名词。Go ahead. Next. Um, I'm Carol. Lip gestures vary considerably in different vowels. They are generally close together in the middle. They are generally what? Uh, closer. Mm-hmm. Together in together. the together. Together. 啊，今天哦，我发现很多班上很多那个 th 念作 d together 的，那记得要吐舌头。The everyone together. together. The. the this. this. These. These. Yeah, 吐舌头 and this is voiced. Go ahead. Together in. Together. Together. Not two. I say t. T. Together. Can you try try together? Together. T. 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 Together. Together. You're saying two. I don't want two. I want to. To. Together. Together. There we go. Together, in the mid, high, and high back vowels, as in good food. Thought in some forms of American English, this is not so. Look at the position of your lips in a mirror. In the. In. In. In the. In the mirror. Right. A lot of you say inga for this phrase. Inga. It should be i. 那后面的 n， 你把它搬到 a 的前面去，变成不是 in a， 而变 i n， and that way you won't make a mistake. 第二个是你呢，那个呢，你呢，你呢。So everyone try in a, in a. These things you should write down, and then in the future, a lot of you are going to be English teachers. You can fix your students' pronunciations very easily without teaching them phonetics. Just tell them to go from in a instead of saying in a. Say inna, inna, and the problem is fixed. Okay, how? Um, in uh, inna, in, inna, right? In the mirror. Mirror. Everyone, watch this word. Mirror. Mirror. What's a mirror? It's a mirror. Mirror. Good. In the mirror, well, while you say just the vowels in head, in head, 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 father, good, food. You will probably find that in the last two words there is a movement of in the, the、uh, in the last、uh, oh yeah、uh, find that in in the last two words there is a movement of the lips in addition to in the in the 一样的跟刚刚那个 in 是一样连音 in in addition 
in addition, right, good, very good. In addition to the movement that occurs, that occurs, that occurs. Okay, 你这里可以用 tap， 因为跨字 t 两边是母音，我们可以念 tap. That occurs. That occurs. Good, yeah, good. That occurs because of the lowering and rising of the and a、uh, raising、uh -huh. of the jaw. Good. This movement is called lip Move, rounding. Make the V clear. Yes. And make the V clearer. This movement. This movement. And once more. Uh, this. Not this. 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 Yeah. This movement is called lip rounding. Lip. Lip. Okay. Lip is 跳跃，嘴唇是 lip. Everyone, lip rounding. Lip rounding. 圆唇 in Chinese 就是圆唇 It is usually most noticeable in the inwards movement mm, of the in corner, the in the in inward, yeah, inward movement of the corners of the lips. Vowels may be described as being rounded, as in hood, hood, or hood, yeah, or unrounded, as in heap. Okay,、um, I will continue to summarize after this, but let's understand this paragraph. So, although we've just marked the Place in the vocal tract of the different vowels, the approximate place, because as we've mentioned before, it's really hard to map vowels. To describe vowels is really difficult. So these are just approximate, and they're approximate. Sorry, these are just approximate, and they're based on averages. They calculated these acoustically. They didn't do it by looking where people put their tongues. They did it acoustically, and we'll learn how、uh, in another class, probably second semester. So. These are the approximate position. Approximate. I did it again. Approximate positions of the vowels. But in addition to where you're putting your tongue, your lips are also doing something. So watch very carefully as I make the sounds. Everybody, watch my lips. E, I, E, A. So my lips are going from very spread to more relaxed, right? As I open my jaw, then the Then there's just ah, then I've just got a a, a a wide opening, and ah, still nothing really special. But when we get to uh, everybody look, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, what are my lips doing? Right, and rounded vowels are typical for back vowels in general. 这样是后母音，最典型的、最常见的是圆唇的后母音。And it's true in Chinese as well. You also have u and u as in tun u, and you have o, o, and you have hong like o. So you also have rounded back vowels in Chinese, and that's normal for all the languages of the world. It is possible to have an unrounded back vowel, but these are more marked. 有标记 Marked 是说它会比较突出，比较特别。跟你所预嗯 expect 的不一样。So 闽南语 a d a 那个 a 是比较 marked， 比较不常见的，比较特别。M A R K E D 有标记，这是一个术语哦。Write it down。有标记是说跟你平常遇到的、想到的、认为个大概会这样子不一样的，是 marked， 是比较特别、比较少见的。所以 a。那个音比较少见，肚子饿的饿，那个也是稍微比较不是那么常见，因为后面的母音大部分是什么？比较多。What's more common for back vowels in any language? Lip rounding, 圆唇。Okay, if you weren't following what we're saying, now you can catch up. 后母音最典型的、最常见的是有圆唇。Usually, very often, anyway, we have lip rounding with back vowels. 前母音可不可以有 lip rounding? Give me an example. Very good. U, perfect example. And U is fairly common, but it still is marked. U 是不是说非常罕见的音？法文、德文、瑞典文，很多语言都有 U。可是呢，它是比较 marked。前母音。最典典型的 lip gesture 是什么 ？Just spread lips, male rounding. 前母音一般来说是 male rounding 的比较多。有 rounding 是 marked， 后母音是刚好相反。
而且这个是有个物理上的一个解释，为什么是这个样子，是非常合理的一个解释。But we don't have time， 因为快要下课。然后这是下学期的东西，这是有个很好的原因，为什么后母音大部分是会有 rounding。But it's a fact， OK？ So we finished that. Let's just summarize. This is all we can do. We can't have the test next time. We haven't covered it. I want to cover this before we take the test. So 那个考试要延后一次。Now, in summary, the targets for vowel gestures can be described in terms of three factors. Number one is the what of the tongue? Height of the body. 对，就是舌头的高度。这是第一个。我们要描述母音。第一个是舌头的高度。第二个呢是什么？舌头的什么 ？Front and back position. 舌头的前后。And three is the Degree of lip rounding. Okay, we have to stop there. We're going to finish it next time. We took extra time today. I think it was absolutely useful. I can't say 100% necessary, but I think it was all useful. Please take detailed notes. 有时候你听我讲故事，以为没什么就没写，可是其实你错过一个很重要的一点讯息。That should take care of it. We will see you next Monday. Okay.